Hello everyone. Welcome back to Billy Home and Creations. This is Billy. Today I'm going to try to make a special little gift for a very special little girl. She's five years old. She loves unicorns and she loves purple. And as I work on this project, I'm going to incorporate this beautiful gift that Deidre Bemister sent me a couple weeks ago. And these are different colored gold leaf foils. So I'm going to incorporate some of that, a little of each color, um, in this little project. So first of all, I came across this tiny, tiny little unicorn charm. And where am I? I've got to stand up. There we go. Focus that little tiny charm. And I cut the little loop off of it you know, to hang as a charm. So I cut that off and I want to put that right in the middle. Initially, I was going to put it on the side somewhere, but I think I'm going to put it right in the middle. And in order to protect that, first of all, from the other colors I'm going to be using right away, I should probably put my gloves on. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, UV resin just in that area to hold that little unicorn down. I was thinking about these different colors and I want them bright and I want them colorful and I want them glittery. Initially I was going to do like a little rainbow style here, but I think I'm just going to do the individual squares, different colors to make it oh, a little more simpler on me because I don't know how that would turn out. So. Um, I would like to get some different UV resin and from what I understand J Diction has one of the best so that will be my next purchase when I get some UV resin and by the way I have a link with discounts for UV resin well J Diction I also have some links for discounts to um, into resin and that's where I got these molds from into resin if you want to check my description box, you'll find all that information there. So let me see if I can do this neatly. I'm just going to put, I'm going to cover this whole square for the time being with uh, the UV resin. And then we'll have a, I think a colored background behind it, but I just want to set that unicorn in there without it being you know, disturbed. So let me get one of these little micro brushes, which are just, well, no, let me get my little, one of these. I broke my other one. I broke the tip off of it. But I just want to just cover that completely. It's a little UV. Clear, and then we'll have a color show up behind it. So I will think that's good. Let's set the little unicorn in there. Right in the center if I can. Without moving everything over the edge. I think that looks good. Just center it. Maybe bring this over just a tad. Sure, there's no bubbles. And I'll just quick set it with my little UV flashlight. Let's try that. Okay. I haven't mixed my resin yet, and I will do that just as soon as I get this set in. So we'll just take a few seconds. I'm looking, I don't see any bubbles. And I'm hoping that once I get my regular resin down that this little square won't pop out. Um, that's my only fear, really. Is that that will pop out and I can't get behind it. So, we're just going to do it this way. Not sure how long that will take. And I will go on to mixing resin. So I'll be right back with you. Did I 
pause it. Oh, pause, wait. Well, I just mixed my resin. I was wanting four ounces and using up the last of my um, amazing clear cast. How many of you had to, uh, <laughs> I just, I mean, I was scraping in my A bat container, just scraping to get the rest of it so I could get it all out. How many of you had to like, have you ever just cut it in half and scrimped and s scraped? But I uh, didn't quite get two ounces, so I had to take some of my B out of the mixture. And I should have done my foils before I mixed the resin, but I got two ahead of myself. So let me just uh, get these off. I'm going to grab my, my little leveling board and my heat mat and oh god I almost dumped it all jeez Bill hmm off a good start that's all right I'll get it we got it just hoo 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 now let me move some of this over wasn't thinking all right now let me get my little paintbrush had one here handy for a second and then, of course, who knows what I did with it. I'm sorry. Sorry for the delay. I don't see it. This one I want it. Don't see it. Well, let's do something different here. Maybe I'll just use my fingers. Oh, goodness, Billy. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I just want a little bit of foil in each of these. So let's start. Let's just start with the fuchsia pink. Oh, and I should have laid out my colors. That's all right. All right. I'm just going to take a little fuchsia pink. And we're going to just go guessing by golly. I just want, whoops, a little piece. Aren't they pretty? Oh, I just want a little piece. I'm just going to. Stick it there. Each square is going to get a color. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. And let's go to the... Oh, I'm on it. Cyan green. And we're going to mix a little grit, glitter in. That's what my little containers are, glitter. Oh, I didn't plan this out, but... Sometimes what you do not plan turns out to be the best idea ever, right? Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Look at me, I'm scrimping. I don't want to use these up so quickly. These are just gorgeous. And I want to save the majority for a bigger project, you know? Now let's do a little bit of rose gold, which I thought would go really nicely with this rather peach or uh, orange, light orange tangerine color. Come on, yeah. Hope everyone's good today. I just finished up the video for last, it would be last Sunday for you today. And I just wanted to get a jump start on this, so... Get a little bit of this rose gold. It looks a bit orange though, doesn't it? But it sure is pretty. I'm just going to take a little piece there. Oop, I took too much. More than what I wanted. Get back in that little area, please. Well, that'll have to stay there. I don't want you there. That's about to be purple. Oh well, it'll be a rainbow. It will be a rainbow for the little sweet one. She happens to be my guitar player's daughter. She's so precious and smart. Oh, the little one's smart. But she loves playing tic-tac-toe. I watched her one day and I thought, oh, that's the best idea for her for Christmas. A little tic-tac-toe game. So this is the peach purple, which is a very light lavender 
I just want a little corner, please. I'll go, let's go over here. Look, I just stuck my finger in the unicorn. Oh, I'm getting carried away. Don't you mix up with that? Well, it just mixed up with that. I don't know how to pick that back up once it's down. I really don't. I have no idea. All right, and just two more. I've got purple. It takes such a big chunk. I just wanted to see how these looked. I'm, I'm imagining they're gorgeous, so. Thank you so much. It was such a lovely gift and a very nice surprise. And we're going to go over here. Just a little piece. Just like that. With the purple. And then I have pink. I don't have... I want to do blue and yellow here, but the blue that came in this uh, set of foils is a very dark blue, and I want to go a very light blue, so... We're going to do this different. This pink almost looks like the peach purple. Am I doing it right side up? I don't think it matters, but very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay. Now, let me just tap those down a little bit. So pretty. Now, I'm going to mix some glitter. Oh, shoot, Billy. Let me take that back. Well, I guess I won't put any in the X's and O's. We'll just keep on going. So, I'm going to move. Let's see. When you use your heat band, you put it right in the middle of the line, and sure, it sure works good. Now, now I can get my gloves back on. And see how, um, <laughs> see how coordinated I am for this next part before I get a flash cure. I just need a little itty bit. So I guess I can move this up out of the way. I just need a little bit of glitter in a little bit of resin here. So I have six of these. So let me just go ahead and I'm just going to do a little drop and I want it really thick. It's probably too much. Probably too much. Not quite so much, Bill. I'm going to get that much whether I like it or not, aren't I? And I do have a few little um, molds on standby here. And I know I probably don't need that much resin. So let me see. Is that a hair? In my house? No, it's not. But it's something. Not sure what that is. A lump of resin or something. My imagination. All right, get started. I'm gonna take a little bit, bit of this rose gold, and this is Dollar Street Dollar. Well, not Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, um, which is like Dollar Tree, but it's in my hometown, and I don't. I didn't foresee going to uh, the big city. So I'm using what I have, and this is very fine. So I'm going to put a little of that orange in, and then I had some of this glitter here. And I poured too much resin. Let's just use this up. That orange. And then we're going to go, what did I have with this? I had, this is going to go with the fuchsia. God, I can't get the lid off. There we go. Fuchsia. Might save a little 
bit of that. And then with that, I have this glitter here. Dollar Tree or Dollar... Why do I keep saying that? It's not Dollar Tree. Family Dollar. S same principle, I'm guessing. This was in their craft section. Come on. Look at that. Oh, there's the fuchsia over here. Whoops. Well, hmm. this that I have had. This is going to go pink, I believe. Pink. Where'd my green go? And when I had some chunky here. Don't know how this will work. So a little chunky in the pink. You know, maybe I won't need a background color. Probably by the time I use this glitter, we'll have plenty. We'll call that good. And, um, uh, where's my green? Excuse me, I had a beautiful green. My cyan green. Oh, it's over here. Oh. Did I not put, yes, I put my green in there. My green foil did that. So let's get a little bit of this cyan green will go with this one. So fine. I've got everything scattered from what I want to say, held a breakfast. Thought I had a chunky green. Glitter, and yes, I do. It's over here. I put tape on the top because it it's kind of fallen into my other glitter. So let me get that off of there. Try this approach. If all else fails, get an exacto knife. <laughs> okay, is everyone getting ready for the holidays? You know, I'm, this has not been a good year for me, and I, honest to goodness, I'm not in the mood to do Christmas. I'm just not. I hate to say that, but too much has happened that I just don't even want to deal with it. Okay. One, two, three, four. What am I missing here? I'm missing purple. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to use, I called that purple, didn't I? Pink, pink, pink. Well, Billy, we're at living now because I messed up. I do know I want some yellow. But I don't have a foil for the yellow, so we're just going to. Put some of this in here, like that. Oh, my husband's home. Let me try that again. A little yellow in there. Those are pretty. Mix that up with a little bit of this fine yellow. Hello. Hello. Get that in there. This is time consuming, isn't it? Me and my bright ideas. Oh, and we're going to do a little blue. A little light blue. That's been cut once, but I'll just cut it over here. Get a little blue. Oh, so pretty. Dollar store blue. <laughs> All right, nickel in the jar every time I say dollar store when it's not dollar store. This is a Walmart glitter, which is very pretty. Um, it's called Winter Fest. 
Winterfest. We're going to add a little Winterfest in there. Okay. You know, that might be enough colors. I want to have the X's and O's. I want to have purple X's and maybe pink O's. So I'll grab a few sticks here. Mix these up. Mm, getting thick. How's my other feel? Not too bad. Okay, my plan was to just put a paste of glitter on each square like this. The orange with the orange. I might have to do a clear back coat, or which will be, the, yes, the bag. That's good right there, isn't it? Set that aside so I don't do it again. Napkin. And this is my fuchsia. That's gonna be very pretty. I'm gonna put my fuchsia here on this square. So I really didn't need that much resin. I was thinking of doing it all at one time. I guess I can see how uh, it might work out if I can very gently pour the purple without getting it everywhere, because I want to do the border in the purple. Okay, that's that one. Now we've got this light pink. Ooh, need a little more. Get away with no more resin in there. But that. Now I think you might see what I was trying to do. A thick glob. This will be our square version of rainbow. Look at that. In a hurry, it's going to be hard. Green, whoops. Here. I think she'll have fun with it anyway. No matter what it looks like. Clean some of that off. Might fall. What can I use? On you. Miss Annette told me about these little makeup brushes. I had no idea what they were. They sure are handy, I must say. Okay. Now I'm going to do the yellow and the blue in the centers. You know, I was thinking I could have done this with UV resin. I haven't, you know, I've played with it a little bit, but not that much. I could have done the squares that way and then went ahead with the other resin, but I'm not quite sure how that would work. So we're doing this. I had some chunky yellow, I thought. I guess not. Get that 
over there. Okay. A little blue. So pretty. Don't get a little bit messed up there again. That's going to be nice. It's going to be very nice. It's going to go over. That cleaned up real quick. Like that. Okay, now I need purple and pink because I was going to do the purple a little different. But I don't want it the same purple as... Um, what I'm going to use for the border and the excess. So let me get a different cup. My resin's still good over here. All right. Just checking. Let's put the fuchsia glitter in that one. I have another cup here. It will be different. Yes, it will be different. next door barking about something something's got them going so I had and I don't have any fuchsia flakes just this fine glitter. If it's not too close, oh, it's different. It's not as close to the other pink. That's pretty, though, isn't it? I think it's going to be really cool. It's a good way to do some testing. Something small like this. Get that set aside. One more color. And I'm going to need purple. Oh, there's my pink glitter. Didn't even open it. Where's my purple glitter? Oh, I put it over here. It's another one I had to tape up. I'll take care of this one to clean up my workspace. I kind of lay down in the little tote I have. That's why I had to cover this so it wouldn't spill. Come on, you. Thank you. And we'll turn it, get a little purple there. Another little cut. These are handy. real dark because this is the color I wanted to do the oh, I should have used this instead okay change of plans try that again I want the lighter purple that's what I wanted Is that the same as that one? No, it's different. Doesn't matter, Billy. Okay, stick. 
There we go. Now I'm on the right track, maybe. Back on track. Can you see me over here? There we go. Oh, if I do the purple outline, I can't, I cannot cover up that unicorn. I guess I could. I didn't want to. I wanted to do a white glitter in that, but we'll be okay. Clean this up. Got it everywhere. Now, was this glitter or is this foil? Ooh, that's foil. Let's get that up. Okay, now, let me get a bigger container. I'm trying to figure out how much pink I would need. And then we'll make the purple. Let's see, what do I have? I can throw away because glitter is kind of hard to get out of your mixing cups. Oh, that might do. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Now, here's my pink glitter. Yeah, I was looking through all these colors, not quite sure how to manage it. But, pretty happy so far. Can't get that off. Should have had these open already. Try to be prepared. Sometimes it just doesn't pan out. Come on. Tape. There we go. And this is the pink glitter. A little pour spout. All right. Don't need much. Here we go. This glitter, I do have no idea where I got it. One ninety nine home home good craft. I think I got this from secondhand store. This is what I think is where I got it. So I want to make the little O's pink. So let's see how. Delicately, I can do that. And I'm standing up so I can see. And I'm, I know I'm in your way. This will take some cleaning up to do. Gosh, Billy, for sure. Hello. Doesn't need that much. I have to pull some out of it. What do you got going, Richard? Well, I'm going to go back out. I've already got probably five buckets. Good. All right. I'll see you later. I am recording. Say hello. 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 Hey. We'll see you when you get back. Watch your pork chops. Yes. Ooh, we're having pork chops for dinner. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. She's got big sisters too, and I don't know what I can do for them yet. Oh, I like that. I like it a lot. Whoops, I was dumb. Okay. I've got to uh, 
definitely clean those up and I have uh, one of these. I was thinking about cutting the edges off of there. Make it straight, you know, straight across. Clean that up a little bit, move you over. Come on. And this one is too full. Let's get some of that out of there. I'm over here, I'm just gonna try that. That worked. And we can clean that up when I demold it. All right. I made enough pink, didn't I? Purple. Purple, purple. Now, that's my pink. Here's my purple violet glitter. That's what we're going to use. And... Try it in here. Now, gosh, I'm second guessing, should I do that a different color purple than what we've got in the tray? I'm not sure. Put that over. Hmm. Oh, look at my orange. What's happening? Darn it. That's a mess. Look at that. You see what happened? Ooh. All right, well... Let's go dark purple. Time out. Q-tip. Oh no. I don't want that to happen. I really don't want that to happen. Is it dipping or something in my tray? Is my tray should be level? Oh no, it's right in the blue. Maybe it was just too runny. It could have been the problem. I don't want it all over the place. Oops. Okay, we've got it. We've got it. We've got it handled. Except right, right in that corner. Where's my little tool? Okay, oh, the green did it now. What the heck? My green's in my blue. It's supposed to be level. Unless I moved it. I bet I moved it when I when wasn't paying attention. Darn it. I'm gonna scoop that out. That bugs me, darn it. happening with that cotton oh gee tweezers get that cotton piece out of there get more of that green out of there let's try this little tool hmm I want green in there. It's supposed to be blue. Okay. I do try to be neat. It just didn't happen in that case. And I have a little blue left. Oh, yay. Patch that up. It's thick now. All right. Now, Billy. Really? Very 
very carefully. Get your purple. Pour it in there. That's a purple we want. Look at that. Hey, baby. That's the one. Oops. God. Pardon me. That could have been a disaster. It's pretty thick. Pretty thick. I think. I don't know what that is. Get it gone. Get it gone. All right. A little purple in the X's. So it's going to be the same color as the background or the frame. But that's okay. That's her favorite color. Purple. It's a cute little set, isn't it? I know they have bigger sets, but I'm going to be content with this one, I think. Oh, and I'm still, oh, I haven't gotten very far. I'm still trying to build my storefront with all my artwork in it. And that's a slow process. Maybe it's just because I've been doing too much here. But if you're interested in anything that I have made and that you've seen me make in my videos, I've sold some pieces, but feel free to email me in if you're interested in purchasing any of it. That would be fine. I would like my pieces to find a great home. Homes, plural. Anyway, so this website I'm building, there's just a few things on it now, but um, it's connect, it connects to my Instagram, and I'm not real sure about that little ditty either. So it's all a learning curve. If anyone has any ideas, I'd sure appreciate it. Or some know-hows, how-tos. Okay. Can I gently move you here? Move you here? You're going to stick on me. Oh, yeah, that's right in the middle where that puddle was. Go on another puddle. Move this one here. Boy, we're talking colorful, aren't we? Okay. Now, I am going to... Should I sit down? I think I'm going to have to sit down and get up close and personal and there's something there's something right beside my unicorn that looks like a piece of litter oh god that's resin in I forgot <laughs> it's not gonna move that's not going nowhere okay now here we go almost done I just want outline I guess I could just oh should I you know what well there's room to just put purple on everything but it will distort the yellow if I did that so I'm not going to do that don't want to distort that yellow so we'll do a clear on the back with maybe a little opaque uh that, that's not the word I want. Oh, what is that word? Um, 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 opalescent. Opalescent. I have some of that glitter. Opalescent. I don't know. New word. But 
that's what we'll do and I've got to get a crack on this before it really sets up and I've got those extra moles too I wanted to use if I had to and I think I have to once I turn this heat mat on this should be pretty dry within a few hours or pretty hard or hard enough to do the back on it I'm guessing because those ornaments I did last week the little snowman gosh what was it almost three hours and they were cured just on my little heat mat One little, one little speck right here. And I, there we go. Whoa. Okay. So that is ready to sit itself up. Look at the mess I've made. I have plenty left. All right. The other little molds I grabbed were just three small ones, and that's still gonna give me more resin that's gonna be a five out of pain okay now I have the hummingbird here isn't that sweet and I took my gold leaf pen oh what is that called my gold leaf pen and I outlined it real fine the deco art gold leaf pen and I I uh, actually I used one of these little micro brushes and I just pulled the ink off the pan and used this to dab the outlines on it worked really good and I also did that with these little butterfly wings and I guess I'm supposed to put them over there in the middle of the table I have two of these so I'm gonna grab what colors I've got left here they're probably like pretty gooey and I'm gonna put those in side what we've got here make a multicolored all right I got a couple more all right I'm gonna fast forward again for you so you don't have to watch me diligently clean these or try this look at that I'm gonna take a scoop of yellow here. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright Hello everyone, I am back this morning uh, with a little bit of resin I mixed up to just do the back coat of our little tic-tac-toe board um, I mixed up one ounce of my premium resin from Just For You Online UK. It's a little milky. Um, it's been sitting a while, so I had, to, I had to warm it up some. But what I forgot to warm up, oh, I forgot to warm up my Just For You Online white shimmer. Um, I'm going to try this and see, even though I didn't mix it up and it's a bit clumpy. I'll see if I can mix it up in the resin. I'll just give it a go. My bad. I forgot. Probably don't need that much, but I want this pretty white. I'm going to do this. I want this pretty white. So I'm going to add some casting craft here. I shook that up. Let's see if I can give this a good squeeze. And I probably don't need an ounce. I know that. So I, I'll i show you um, the little extra moles I put aside. 
We'll put three in here. Come on, you. And then I'm just going to put a little squirt of my Bombay White India ink from Dr. Phil Martin. Just a couple. Three. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get a little shimmer. I was thinking about this last night and I thought oh, I should have actually to do it properly I should have added colorant to the glitter mixes you know like I should have added yellow to the yellow glitter not just glitter um, but I didn't I think it's gonna turn out fine and that's very nice and white I think I think we should be good well, I can still see my stick. If you can still see your stick, it's not that white. A little more casting craft. Maybe three more. One, two, oh, this bugger, two. And three. Whatever's hanging on there. Okay. I hope you're well today. I didn't get back to this last night, but it was set up really well, really quickly with my heating mat. But I spent the morning cleaning up glitter. Oh my goodness, I had glitter everywhere in this little workspace of mine. Ooh, I just saw the clump of uh, my shimmer. Let's see if I can't break that up. Can I find it? Oh, maybe I broke it. Oh. Anyway, that looks better. Gosh, it feels like it's getting warm already. So let me just grab my mold. And before I pour that, let me show you. I demolded the butterfly wing necklaces and the hummingbird because I went ahead and got more of these ready to go um, if I have extra. So for the time being, let me show you how these turned out with the gold that I painted before I poured. Now I like that and it's very small so like I said, I just dipped my little tip into my the ink on my gold tip pen and did it that way. Worked out pretty slick. And then um, the butterflies turned out good too. You can see the gold, see how the gold showed up? Also, I think I can add little uh, rhinestones in these little circular areas, mm -hmm. possibly. But I want to clean these up and do a top coat on those. And then the other turned out nice, too. Go this way. Those are really pretty. Got the glitter and the gold showed up. So... The next three I did, I used the silver pen. And we're going to do silver this time. So I'm going to leave the X's and O's there. Let me put that up top a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and pour. There's not much room left in there. But uh, it may take long to set because it's going to be quite thin. And I need to sit a second just so I can see. But the white background should really show where we are on the glitter. I should really bring that up nicely. Let me grab my little tool here and just kind of spread this out. See how much I need. Kind of going to the side. I messed with the leveling board. I probably shouldn't have. But let's just get it up here first. To the edges. And we'll see how much we need. What's going to be colorful? Okay. 
Okay. Whoop. A little carried away. Let's add some more. Oh, I see the I see the lumps where my my white didn't melt down or break down. And then this way we can see the unicorn. He will be up front and center. It's going to be really cute. I hope you enjoyed last week's video. I'm making this one early so I don't know the outcome yet. But uh, it was fun anyway. Let's see. A little there. I think we're going to be good. Looks good to me. I'll probably have a little bit of overfill, maybe. Oh, what did I just do? Something just... Did you see that? What was that? Must have been in my cup. Oh, no. What is that? Oh, what that is, it just showed up. Get rid of that. Looks like tape. I bet it's tape. This came off with one of the glitters. But if I don't move this, it should be fine, except this little edge right here. Let me scoop a little more out. And I must have moved some glitter, or that's a bubble. Okay, let's just, um, well, let's just do the earrings first and see if I can get an actual pair out of this. These will be pretty, just white and silver. Can you say? All right. Well, I don't need to hold you up, so I will just finish this. And I'm not putting it on the heating mat, so it might be a bit before I can demold. And I'm not sure if I can get onto another project today. We'll try, but you know me, too many irons in the fire. Okay, so have a great day, everyone. Sure appreciate you all. Take good care. I said that already, but I mean it. Take good care. Take good care of you today. Take good care of you. And then you'll be able to take care of everyone else in your life. With that, I'll say bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.